Fellas, this is your Guardian Games farming guide. Since we're gonna go over everything, how to get laurels, quests you'll have to complete, the SMG, which by the way, is essentially time-gated right now. And if we get an update on that, down below in the comments, I will have a pinned comment giving more information on that title SMG and what the hell is going on there. With that being said, you'll first need to grab your class item from Ev Levante, and you'll need this in order to generate laurels. Now, all laurels are pretty much the same. I know there's different colors, blue for hunters, yellow for warlocks and red for titans now when it comes to generating laurels killing like majors champions etc bosses that all generates laurels regardless of whatever way you kill them but when it comes to red bar ads just regular miners you're gonna need to land ability final blows on them and there's a variety of ways to really cycle that we were actually running insurmountable skull fort and just doing shoulder charge after shoulder charge however i will say for my titans sunspots do not seem to count as ability kills and do not generate laurels now you're gonna initially start with 100 laurels this will allow you to buy the gold medallion contender card from eva you can choose whatever playlist you prefer to grind for medallions and in order to earn platinum medallions you'll need to earn more laurels 200 to be exact now the max laurels you can hold is 500 now honestly the fastest way to farm laurels and we did this in like 10 minutes is you want to just load up into grasp of avarice and literally just run around and cycle ability kills on these miners so i'm doing skull fort you could do things like controverse hold nezrak sin with void a variety of grenade builds hump car spine trip mines hell even lucky raspberry again a variety of ways to generate ability kills over and over again just go here to grass to do it and it really is super super fast in order to max out those laurels now for the most part once you get the ball rolling as you're completing those platinum medallions it'll come very fast you'll roughly get back a hundred laurels per completion of whatever you're doing whether it's lost sectors night falls crucible is about the only location where laurel drops really is in that plentiful or at least from my experience now earning medallions is what actually contributes to the class of your preference community score when you bank them at the tower you must be on the class you intend to support in order to deposit the moats in their bank now medallions however are account wide so if you want to play titan but support warlocks you can change characters although you shouldn't stay on titan deposit on that class now you can also view everything in this medallion case that eva gives you which shows you what you have currently in your inventory this will tell you how many laurels you have bronze medallions silver medallions gold and platinum now, be careful though, as once you reach that cap, I'm pretty sure you lose the medallions you earn, right? So turn them in. That's the whole point of those caps. Now, you earn these medallions by completing contender cards and triumphs. And triumphs are actually found under Season of the Risen in the Guardian Games tabs. This is also the tab you go after depositing enough medallions to get the unauthorized departure, which is that exotic ship, as well as after lighting the two platinum torches, you'll also gain access to the emblem. Now, banking medallions will grant you rewards from the current loot pool and previous Guardian games that scale based on the tier of the medallion and if you need the air apparent catalyst the quest also has a chance to drop from banking medallions i know it's also kind of weird some of us have probably already seen it the air apparent exotic catalyst literally dropped despite me already having the air apparent exotic catalyst i don't know why that is but whatever it's still the same caddy by the way it's not like it's like a new catalyst now next you're going to want to complete your best class quest this will actually reward you your very first and currently right now your only title smg the role is actually the same for every Everyone. Grave Robber, Vorpal. Essentially though, step one, you earn medallions. Step two, you earn medallions and laurels. Step three, you'll speak with Eva. Step four, you will deposit these medallions. Step five, you speak with Eva again. And step six, you speak with Zavala. Step eight will require you to complete an activity in the Guardian Games recreational playlist. This is the playlist to the left. And step nine, you'll speak with Eva and receive your the title. Now there's also two other quests you need to progress called the Medallion Battalion and the Shoot to Score. Now in order to level up the medallion, Medallion Battalion, you'll turn in medals over the course of the week, and ranking up to Platinum will give you the most reward packages. Now, what's interesting is after you complete the Bronze Tier, it doesn't actually allow you to grab the Bronze Package. I don't really know what's going on there. It does still allow you to light the torch, but the package itself is not able to be acquired. I'm assuming this weekend, we will be able to grab those packages, and with those packages, hopefully, we also gain access to random rolls of that new SMG. And that's actually when the competitive mode of the Guardian games playlist goes live again though i'm currently trying to reach platinum and light those final totems so we'll see now shoot to score grants you a buff that lasts throughout the week for hitting a certain score threshold and this buff can be seen on your character screen your threshold determines how high the buff can stack and how many modifiers you get and in order to even get this buff you'll need to jump into the training guardians playlist complete it and try to get the highest score possible and you can actually see the different thresholds bronze at 50,000, silver at 100,000, gold at 150,000, and 
platinum at 175,000. Now, all of these gives you different bumps in your abilities, weapon damage, etc. For example, silver actually gives you a bump there in your mobility, but gold actually gives you a bump there in mobility, accuracy, handling, and reload boost. So again, the higher you can get that score threshold, the better. Now, these buffs only apply to Guardian games and that playlist, as well as the Vanguard Ops, but it's a very nice buff, guys. You're going to be scooting through these Nightfalls. Now, currently, the recreational and training playlists are the only ones available. And in order to progress, shoot to score, you need to participate in the Guardian Games competitive playlist. Now, this playlist will cycle in over the weekend, starting on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, replacing the training playlist, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, I mentioned in last week's TWAB, the competitive playlist is where we're going to earn exciting rewards. I'm assuming exciting means the SMG. So again, random rolls for the SMG should hopefully be dropping from the competitive playlist. Personally, I don't like that. I wish the SMG was dropping right now because it's like, yo, why do you think everybody got on today for resets? They probably want to play with the new SMG, right? Technically, you're supposed to be able to also get the title SMG from banking medallions, but I've banked a ton of medallions and have yet to see the title drop. But as soon as we start getting some god rolls in, we will be reviewing this weapon. Now, as far as how to actually farm platinum medallions, there's a couple ways to do this. One, lost sectors seem to be really, really good, very fast. You get about 100 laurels back for every single run while simultaneously completing that contender card. However, for me, I was actually going and picking up the platinum card Nightfall and then jumping into the Guardian Games playlist. And again, this is the training playlist that I was jumping in. Now, completing the Nightfalls in this playlist, today being the Light Blade Strike over and over again, took roughly 15 minutes or close to 15 minutes per run. We got it down to about 12 minutes a few times. But the beautiful thing about doing this playlist is after completing one run, you get a free silver medallion. And second, normally if you're killing a bunch of ads and slaying out, you're also going to be getting that contender card for Nightfalls for Platinum completed as well. So when you go back to the tower, you turn in not only a silver medallion, but also a platinum medallion, and then you can pick up another contender card for Nightfalls and then proceed to head back to that Guardian Games training playlist. Now again, you may run into an issue where you run out of laurels, even if you're killing a bunch of ads. I will say getting ability kills on red bars will generate laurels. So try to do that as often as you can. Again, though, if you're looking to just top off your laurels immediately, for me, Avarice, go do that. Literally 10 minutes, you'll have 500 laurels in no time. Oh, and before I let you guys go, for those wondering, Cross, how do we get the armor? The armor has to be purchased from Eververse. You can either purchase it with silver or bright dust. It's 6,000 bright dust, so it's quite a hefty price tag. Again, in my opinion, I think the Titan armor looks the best. I would definitely advise getting that one, but a lot of people would say I'm biased, so whatever. So guys, good luck this week. I'll let you know in the comments what the heck is going on with this SMG, if it's actually time gated or not, if the SMG has dropped for you outside of the quest, like literally dropped for you while turning in medallions, let me know. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.